Hi, my name is Andy Miles with Westport Yachts. I'm proud to debut Bread, a 137-foot canter built in 2007, along with my good friend and co-broker Charlie Nicholas with Denison Yacht Sales. Bread was built with the idea of combining the two worlds of the classic era yachting and that style with today's modern navigational technology and systems. Of the many special things about Bread are the abundant areas you can entertain on board. From the massive on-deck amenities, huge galley, large dining area aft, down to the massive staterooms below, this is a really impressive yacht. Every detail, you'll see it when you're aboard. And now I'd like to introduce you to Charlie Nicholas, my co-broker with Denison Yacht Sales, and he's going to give you a thorough walkthrough. We're going to start our walkthrough from the stern here. As you can see, we have a very nice stern pass rail if you'd like to dock stern two, or we have pass rail entrance from the port and starboard side as well. As you board, you walk into the aft deck. This serves as the main dining area with seating for eight. As you can see, it is fully enclosed and air conditioned. And if you'd like to, you can open up the windows for some fresh air. Forward to the port side, you have a wine cooler as well as refrigerator drawers. And to the starboard side, we have additional cold storage. As Andy mentioned earlier, it's a very modern layout. You begin to feel that as you enter from the aft deck into the galley. You start to notice the beautiful woodwork and the joinery that you will see throughout the entire boat. Having the galley positioned right next to the aft deck and dining area is very convenient because it makes it very easy for the stews to serve to the dining table. And also you have the French door so you can close it off if you'd like some privacy. Here in the galley you have all the modern appliances that you're gonna need. You have two Wolf ovens, five burner stove top, a sharp microwave oven, and sub-zero cold storage on board. As we make our way forward from the galley into the main salon, you will notice the beautiful woodwork. If you look above, the beautiful coffered ceilings finished in the pecky cypress wood. This is a great area to greet and welcome guests. It has a very warm feeling. It makes you feel like you're at the living room in your home. As you first walk in, you have an intimate seating area for three. And as we walk forward, you have an L-shaped settee. It is a great area to hang out with friends and family. As we move forward from the salon, we will walk into a foyer where you can either go upstairs to the pilot house or we can go downstairs to the crew quarters. Let's go check out the crew quarters. For any yachtsman, the comfort of the crew is very important. As you can see, the crew mess on bread is very spacious. You also have your full-size washer and dryer in this space. To the port side, you have the captain's quarters. And forward are the two mirrored crew cabins with over-under berths, and each have their own ensuite. Heading up from the crew space, we're gonna take a turn here and head up to the pilot house. On the port side after the pilot house, you have a nice set tee. You have five 21 inch screens and they're all customizable and you're able to put whatever you'd like on each screen. You also have your hydraulic balance stern thrusters as well as your NIAD stabilizers. As we walk aft from the pilot house and crew quarters, there's a day head here on the starboard side. Let's go down and check out the lower staterooms. Here on Bread, we have a four stateroom and four head layout. First, we're gonna go after to check out the master. As you enter the full beam master, the joinery and fine woodwork on the main deck flows through the lower staterooms as well. Here in the master center line, you have king size bed. Forward on both sides, you have cedar lined hanging closets. On the starboard side, you have this beautiful vanity. Across from there on the port side, you have additional storage. Aft, you have his and her heads that is separated by a large shower. As we leave the master, we walk into our first guest stateroom on the port side. In here, we have another king size bed. We have cedar line hanging closets, additional storage underneath the bed, and forward is your ensuite. Leaving the port stateroom, we're gonna move forward and we're gonna start with the starboard side guest stateroom. All guest staterooms have audio visual package with flat screen TV and sound bar. Both of these forward guest staterooms are very similar to the last guest stateroom we saw. All have a king size bed, cedar line closets, and a very spacious ensuite.
We're gonna move from the forward staterooms and we're gonna head up to the Sky Lounge. As we walk up to the Sky Lounge, you'll notice you have a very intimate space. Forward, you have two flat screen TVs, as well as a fully equipped wet bar with plenty of cold storage. In the aft, you have two opposing set tees that makes a great area to hang out with friends and family. As we move the aft from the Sky Lounge, we enter the sun deck. You will see opposing set tees with high load tables. Center line, we have a jacuzzi with seating behind. And here on the port side, we have a huge barbecue. As we move forward on the sun deck, we find our tender storage. Now these tenders you see here are not for sale with the boat, but it's important to know that there is a 5,000 pound capacity davit and it's built into the forward mast here. Just forward of the mast is a great area to catch some sun on these lounge chairs. On both the port and starboard side, there are wing stations for the captain, as well as stairs going down to the main deck. If you come down the staircase just in front of the pilot house, you will notice there's a seating area, which is great for underway or moving into a new anchorage. We've come down from the sun deck, and now we're gonna move forward to the crew space and check out the engine room. In the aft section of the crew mess, you will find access to the engine room. She's powered with Caterpillar C18s with 715 horsepower each. She's also equipped with two 99 kilowatt Northern Lights generators. On behalf of Andy Miles and myself, I'd like to thank you for taking this video walkthrough of Bread, the 137 foot canter. If you have any questions or you'd like to come see her in person, please contact us.